Skin hydration is the most important step. Try to moisturize at least twice daily, especially after shower. Avoid triggers that worsen the skin condition, including sweat, dust mites, pollen, and stress. Hi everyone, welcome to Minglish Let's Get Beauty! It is very important to subscribe so that we can keep on sharing this beauty information and knowledge. If you like us, please subscribe! And presented to you by Me Media. The change of seasons here is making our skin unbelievably uncomfortable, dry and itchy. Hey, don't scratch! If it stops bleeding, you may be having a bigger problem. This is very common. When spring is here, your skin rash is here. And this is why we will be speaking to a professional dermatologist who is here to help us. Let's welcome Dr. Amy. Hi guys, my name is Dr. Amy Peng. I'm a dermatologist. So Amy, as a professional dermatologist, you probably have seen many patients with this kind of problem. Yeah, so with Taiwan's hot and humid climate, we get all sorts of skin problems. So this is pretty common, and I think we need to find out more. Today's conversation. Jenny, I'm so tired. What's wrong, Amy? You know, this is the busiest time for dermatologists. Why? This unstable weather is making our skin unstable too. It may itch, and we scratch. Oh, I'm feeling a bit itchy. Don't scratch. You may end up with a skin infection if you keep scratching. How about scratching it lightly? It's not a good solution. The best is to put on some lotion. If it doesn't get better, you probably got atopic dermatitis. Uh, something like this? That looks like a mosquito bite. Rub some ointment on it. Oh, it's so embarrassing. You know, I thought it was something serious. I even took a photo. I sent it to Ginny because I thought I'm gonna die. Well, you shouldn't underestimate a mosquito bite. If you keep scratching, it could result in cellulitis. And don't worry, you're not gonna die. But it's an open wound, so treat it carefully. How about this? Hey, that's disgusting. Let me help you. There you go. Oh, thank you, Amy. No, no, no. let me help you. Thank you. You're welcome. Today's topic. So Amy, what is atopic dermatitis? Can you elaborate a little bit more? Atopic dermatitis is the most common type of eczema. For many complex reasons, our immune system becomes disordered and overactive. This causes inflammation and damages our skin. Our skin then becomes dry and prone to itching. Atopic dermatitis is also commonly associated with respiratory allergy like allergic rhinitis and asthma. So what are the triggering factors? Some common triggers include cold and dry weather, heat, humidity, sweat, and air pollution. Food triggers include soy, egg, milk, gluten, or nuts. So which age group is the most susceptible to this? So atopic dermatitis often begins before the age of five and may persist into adolescence and adulthood. The area of skin rash depends on the age group. In babies and younger children, it commonly affects the scalp, face, and the front parts of the arms and legs. In older children and adults, it's mostly the flexural areas, for example, neck, inside of the elbows, and back of the knees. Today's conclusion. Seems like adults have milder symptoms. How is it treated? Skin hydration is the most important step. Try to moisturize at least twice daily, especially after shower. Avoid triggers that worsen the skin condition, including sweat, dust mites, pollen, and stress. So would ordinary moisturizing lotion work? So we usually prescribe topical steroids to relieve the redness, swelling, and itching. If a larger area of skin is involved, we also give oral anti-itch medication to avoid the vicious itch and scratch cycle. Other treatments include phototherapy and wet dressings. Scratching sometimes leads to skin infection. In that case, we also give oral or topical antibiotics. Thank you, Amy. Now I know what to do when winter comes. I'm ready. Good job, Jenny. Today's keywords. Atopic dermatitis. Atopic dermatitis, scratching, scratching, allergy, allergy, xerosis, xerosis, 
steroid, steroid, emollients, emollients, cellulitis, cellulitis. Today's idiom. To save one's skin, to save one's skin. It means to rescue someone from danger. If you like our video, please subscribe to our channel. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,